Yo, what's up? It's your boy XO Kalama here. You know what it is. It's grind season. We ain't chicken. We cheating. So, uh, let's get straight to the video. Okay, we're going over the best settings for the light class from a light main or a goat. Mr. Stab your back. Mr. Backstabber. Okay. Mr. Pump you. Okay. Mr. Barrel stuff. Yeah. Mr. Cloak. Let's get straight to it. <laughs> Stick with me. All right. Cool. So for gameplay, um, we're going to have use enemy colors on, obviously. Um, self-explanatory uh, hide player names you want that on because you don't need to have the player names in the first place right the less distractions you have the better because you obviously want to focus on what you're doing which is supposed to be killing people or you know your DPS class so you know obviously dealing damage um the region pick your nearest region obviously uh, cross play I put cross play on because I want fast games I want to hurry up and get straight into it and just you know get my games over with and you know what I mean not have a long ass queue um, crosshair. This is super duper important. So crosshair, you don't, you want contracts, you want contrasting colors. Okay. From the actual game itself. So yellow in this game, white and light bluish in this game, uh, depending on the map is like not even viable because it might blend in, right? You don't want your crosshair to blend in with anything and you want your crosshair to be visible, right? Cause their crosshair is, 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 you know, obviously where you're aiming at. And you want to be able to hit your shots. You don't want to like autopilot and then not be able to see a crosshair because you're blending in with shit. You know what I mean? Like I, if I make my shit darkish, is darkish, brightest yellow ish, it'll blend in with half the buildings in the game. So now it's like, what the fuck? Or it'll blend in with some of the platforms in this game, like the little elevator that's yellow. So, you know, yeah, you don't even want to go through those complications. I keep mine red because red to me so far is a contrast in color in this game. Um, it's been working for me good. So these are my settings um, so far. You know, I keep a small dot in the middle because, you know, you don't want anything to distract you from the core concept of the game, which is, you know, shoot people, right? <laughs> uh, controller, I don't use controller. So mouse and keyboard gang, sorry, MNK. Um, obviously, make sure your aim assist is on. Uh, I will say that and turn vibration off. I will say that for controllers. That's, that's just default for any controller at all. Um, and you want to make sure hold is on for a lot of these behaviors, not toggle, right? So for mouse and keyboard, my sensitivity is on 26. Uh, my DPI on my mouse is on 800, 800 default. Uh, and that's super competitive. These are super competitive settings. Uh, or, the, or the 800 DPI, in my opinion, is super competitive because a lot of pro players play on 800. Um, and because that's default for mouses anyways type shit. Um, so the look sensitivity I have on 26, I went from 35 to 26. Uh, I think I might bump it up two more notches and go to 28. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to get a feel for 26 right now, but, uh, yeah, but the lower the sensitivity, the more likely you'll hit your shots. It's just, you have to put in more strain and you know, have to get reused to it with your wrist and your hand and your arm, right? When it comes to mouse to keyboard players, um, Mouse zoom sensitivity multiplier, 100%, you know, uh, just leave it default. Um, focal length sensitivity scaling, default, default, off and off. I don't know what that is, and I don't play with that. I, and plus, I'm not an inverted player, so I don't need that. Um, my key bindings are different. Um, you know, I have nothing on toggle. Forget, you do, like, remember, always put stuff on hold, not toggle. Um, my specialization is on my mouse button. I use my mouse buttons to reload. I scroll down. Um, it's my CSGO settings pretty much. Uh, the ping default. Uh, the melee is also on the mouse button because, you know, I like the melee a lot. I use melee canceling. Um, crouching, obviously on hold. Aim down sights on hold. Default and spec weapon on G. Expressions on T. Uh, weapon on Q and 1, right? Uh, gadget on scroll up which is I put all my nades on gadget one or my stud gun on gadget one. All right. So, uh, sorry. I did yawn. Yawn, yawn was fucking wild as shit. Uh, <laughs> push the talk on Z. I don't use push the talk score on tab. You know, the rest is whatever, right? Pick a weapon on F, which I might change the pick a weapon to something closer. I'm not sure yet. Maybe X might put it on X actually instead of F put it on X. Um, and put F on, uh, one of my gadgets actually, but that's what I'm planning on doing later on, but that's all personal preference, completely personal preference, uh, accessibility, 
Uh, I usually turn colorblind mode on try Topia normally, but um, not in this game so far. The defaults have been treating me well, so you know. But other than that, if I did have to choose a colorblind mode, I put it on try. You know, just like in uh, any other game. Um, subtitles on, motion blur disabled, obviously. You know what I mean? Crosshair. Y'all get it. All the good shit. Audio. I put the master volume on 75. Uh, this game is extremely loud. Footsteps is loud as hell. I still hear footsteps perfectly fine at 75. Um, night mode. I'm not sure what that does, but I have it on. And it makes everything kind of louder in my opinion. That's why I have it at 75. <laughs> uh, subtitles, obviously. Um, and then voice chat. Please turn on voice chat even if you do not have a mic. Please turn on voice chat. That's my recommendation. If you're going to play comp and play ranked, uh, please put your voice shut on. Please. Please. So you can hear calls and shit, please. I'm literally begging you. Now, the most important shit, your video settings. Um, I put mine on windowed full screen uh, just because my stream settings, etc. But full screen will run your game better and smoother, in my opinion. Um, if you do regular full screen, like right now, my frame is um, at 116. If I do full screen, it'll probably be better. Um, but I don't want to mess with anything right now because I'm in the middle of recording. V-Sync. V-Sync disabled. Low latency on. This is if y'all have the graphics card for this, I, I think. Right? You should, like, let's see if you have the graphics card for these. Um, and DLSS. Um, I have these on. Uh, performance mode on you want everything to help you get higher frames smoother frames and to have that frame advantage versus people and you want to make sure that it's running smoothest on your system so everything should be low my field of view is a hundred so I can have more information you can actually play at um, lower like 90 um, that's kind of personal preference ish uh, obviously the more information you have the better you are in 1v1s you know obviously the person with more information wins and then and the one with better positioning wins as well, right? But in order to position better, you need the information to position or to know where to position. And yes, so you get it, okay? More more field of view, more information, better, right? Um, motion blur disabled. You don't want motion blur. You know motion blur looks good. Uh, you want that off, lens distortion off. Any other extra effects or graphics, turn that shit off. You don't need it. There's no point. Like, you're not playing the game for it to be pretty. You're trying to win, right? That's if you're trying to win, right? You click this video to find the best class to win more as like so let's keep it like that um static obviously use pre-calc whatever has the smallest performance cost obviously like i said we want the maximum performance so we don't want um any dynamic any of that static keep it regular uh obviously overall quality level you want this to set this to low but you want your view distance to be high like i said you want the information uh, normally shadows, it depends if you can see people's shadows when they're going through doors and shit, but I have yet to even experience anything like that. So shadows, I keep it on low. If I could turn all this shit off, I would, if I could turn off, I would, um, other than that, you don't need anything else. Literally. We don't need anything else. That's it. Everything keep on low. Just keep this on Epic and you'll be fine. Uh, for my extras, there's obviously no settings on extras and that's pretty much it. That is the best settings for the light class in the finals. So thank you for watching and y'all have a wonderful day. This is a super quick video. Just giving y'all some setting tips, tricks, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.